in this video we have given that sin theta is equal to 2 and we have to find the value of theta so we know that in unit format e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta and now if we put minus theta in place of theta then we get e to the power minus i theta is equal to cos minus theta is equal to cos theta and sin minus theta is equal to minus sin theta so we get minus i sin theta and now we need sin theta so if we subtract these two values then cos theta and cos theta will get cancelled and we get e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta is equal to 2i sin theta or we get sin theta is equal to e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta by 2i and now we have given sin theta is equal to 2 we have given that sin theta is equal to 2 and we get sin theta is equal to e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta by 2i that is equal to 2 or we get e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta is equal to 4i and it is e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta is 1 by e to the power i theta is equal to 4i and now if we take e to the power i theta is x then we get x minus 1 by x is equal to 4i or we get x square minus 4i x minus 1 is equal to 0 or we get x is equal to minus b that is 4i plus minus root under b square that will be 16i square minus 4ac that will be plus 4 by 2a that is 2 or we get x is equal to if we divide by 2 then we get 2i plus minus root under 4i square plus 1 or x is equal to 2i plus minus root under i square is equal to minus 1 so we get minus 4 plus 1 and now it is x is equal to 2i plus minus root minus 3 is i root 3 or x is equal to 2 plus minus root 3 times i and x is equal to e to the power i theta here x is equal to e to the power i theta that is equal to 2 plus minus root 3 times i and now if we take nn boss side then we get nn e to the power i theta is equal to nn 2 plus minus root 3 times i and ln e to the power i theta is equal to i theta that is equal to ln a into b is ln a plus ln b so we get ln 2 plus minus root 3 plus ln i and now we have to find the value of ln i we have ln i and for any complex number g g is equal to r times e to the power i theta where r is magnitude of g and theta is argument of g and now if we take ln boss side then we get 
ln g is equal to ln r e to the power i theta and it is ln g is equal to ln r plus ln e to the power i theta or ln g is equal to ln r plus i theta. So ln i will be equal to ln and r will be magnitude of i plus i times theta will be argument of i and we get ln and magnitude of i is 1 plus i times argument of i and ln 1 is 0 so we get i times argument of i and now this is real axis and this is imaginary axis and on imaginary axis we get i so we can say that argument of i is pi by 2 or we can also say that it is 2 pi plus pi by 2 or 4 pi plus pi by 2 so we get argument of i is 2n pi plus pi by 2 so it will be i times and argument of i is 2n pi plus pi by 2 so we get ln i is i times 2n pi plus pi by 2 and we have i theta is equal to ln 2 plus minus root 3 plus ln i so we get i theta is equal to ln 2 plus minus root 3 plus ln i is equal to i times 2n pi plus pi by 2 and now if we divide by i then we get theta is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2 plus 1 by i times ln 2 plus minus root 3 or theta is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2 and 1 by i is minus i so we get minus i times ln 2 plus minus root 3 or theta is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2 and 2 minus root 3 is 1 by 2 plus root 3 so we get plus minus here i times ln 2 plus root 3 